Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. This is a device that has an 8-inch screen and is originally from the year 2018, since Samsung tends to release various different models of these devices every year. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account in Instead, it'll pull up the secondary option that tells us that the other option is to sign in with a Google account that was previously used on the device. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they were scammed by a dishonest seller who sold them the device used and didn't tell them that the device was locked. But at any rate, we're now making this video to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we did here with this one. So, actually, before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock. We just left it in place at the last step as visual proof so that you guys can all see that the device was indeed locked, that we can actually do this, that it's real and valid, that we're not trying to sign into our own account or any trickery like that, just so everyone knows that it is on the up and up. So the last step of the process is just to, to restart the device once, and then after it boots up, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without running into that Google Lock page. So just hold on here for a minute while it finishes turning back on. All right, so it's fully rebooted now. We should be all set to go. We're on the welcome screen, so we're going to go ahead and hit that blue start button to begin going through all of the initial setup steps. The first thing is going to be to read and agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. And then after that, it's going to ask us about the Wi-Fi connection, which you actually don't need, so we're just going to turn that off and hit skip. We don't need to copy any apps and data. And we have to read and go through all of the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step also. And we can never get to any of these other options before when the tablet was locked, so that is a very good indication that the lock has been removed successfully, because we would have seen the Google lock by now usually. We don't need any other apps, so we're just going to turn those all off and continue. We also don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that also. There we go. It says we're all set up. So when we tap on finish there, we should then be able to see that 
Yep, we've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and pop into the settings just to show and verify exactly what we are working with here. So when we go down to the About Tablet section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab A, 8-inch screen, 2019 year, and the model number there, the SMT290. That's the model number of this specific device that we are working with here. So, if you have one of these Galaxy Tab A's with the Google Lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.